a very, very different event to Beijing in size, in having your friends and family there. There are so many, so many different things to Beijing. But I can just hopefully take my car racing experience into the, into the race and hopefully that'll be in the I think knowing it's going to be in London is what's really driven me on, the idea of doing that in front of the home crowd and in front of you know, people that have been so supportive over the last eight years, my whole road career, eight years. Um, so the people that have been supporting me through that actually get the chance to, to see what I'm doing and see it properly and see it in the best possible way. And rewind eight, eight years, I mean you've won a lot of medals in that time. Yeah. Can you remember the first time you got into a boat? Um, yes, I can. I think I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. I was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm not the most coordinated person in the world. How on earth am I going to do this? But I also had one of my best friends with me, so we kind of, it was quite a bit of fun, to be honest. My first race was the heats, I think, or the race for lanes at the World Rowing Championships in 2004. And I was terrified, absolutely terrified. And they kept us in the start for about 20 minutes they used to line us up at the thousand meters floating start so there wasn't really anybody you know that wind was really strong and they kept us there for about 20 minutes and I was sitting there getting more and more and more nervous and then we got going and you know crossed the finish line in the heats first so. I think the best bit of advice is always look for a little bit more you think you're doing good job you think you're pushing hard enough always look for a little bit more because you'll always surprise yourself